Afternoon, everybody. I'm Alessandra Cummins, director of the Barbados Museum and Historical Society. It's my special pleasure to welcome you to the opening of our first exhibition for the year, uh, the paintings of the artwork and the vision of Robert McLeod, Atlant Atlantic Rhapsody, Elegy to the Islands. Robert McLeod is one of those artists that one could call a pioneer artist of Barbados, except he wasn't born here. So how did this individual become a pioneer of Barbadian art? McLeod had a Barbadian mother, and he very quickly reclaimed his Barbadian identity after he had fulfilled uh, many years of training as an artist and then uh, working as a commercial artist in, the, um, in New York. Once he came back to Barbados, he was devoted in bringing his vision of the Caribbean to life. And as can be seen in the 40 or 50 works around the space, he was, I think, completely indulgent in going back to certain spaces over and over and over again until he was able to achieve the kind of perspective and the kind of uh, uh, preserving of Caribbean identity and tradition and heritage. And that's what we're here to celebrate today. There's so many different aspects of um, McLeod's vision in both um, botanical specimens, in traditional buildings, in chattel houses and colonial structures, in landscapes, landscapes both of St. Lucia, Dominica, Barbados, and probably others. We are still looking at returning the title of certain pieces um, because so many of the pieces in here are labeled untitled. Now in that regard, I, have, uh, I want to particularly pay tribute to a number of people who helped support us reaching this stage. And amongst them are Barbadians, the Barbadian family, the Goddard family, uh, Philip, Bruce, Robert, who all supported um, making sure that we shared images in their collection that their parents had started, so they're second generation collectors. And Simon Kreinler, who um, it now lives in Canada and who was fully supportive as um, someone who collected McLeod's work early, who saw his mother and father fall in love with McLeod's pieces and then became, as I said, a second generator, generating um, uh, collector. Then we also want to thank very much Lennox Honeychurch because without him and his uh, detailed and intimate knowledge of the islands, we would not have been able to identify several of the landscapes that are presented here. And so that's why I'm saying we were able to restore the identity of certain pieces. So it was very helpful to be able to, to call on him for his advice and support. But the other fascinating thing was that um, it was almost a matter of forensic his, historical research to try to recover the identity of this individual because, in fact, there are at least three Robert McLeods running around there at the same time producing art. And these three, their, um, their identities, their names, and their work have become completely conflated into one being. So for that, I have to thank um, a particular uh, friend and colleague, Ernest Murcutt Wilshire, who as a genealogist helped us to recover again the history, um, the genealogical history of um, Cloud and his family, and that enabled us then to begin to separate him from these other two McClouds. So I'm very, very um, pleased to be able to identify and to thank those individuals who gave their support to this show. But one other thing, I can't say that this show could have happened without the collectors, 
because while the museum have a small collection of pieces that came from our own storerooms, this exhibition could not have happened without the passion and support and interest and excitement from uh, some of you who are here. I want to thank um, Gloria and Anthony Eduardo in particular, and Rain and John Chandler, who made it their mission to make sure that this exhibition happened. We are here to celebrate the 70th anniversary of Robert McLeod having his first solo exhibition at the museum. I think we can say that this show has done him justice. Thank you very much for being with us today, and I look forward to seeing you in the future because we do have a few more programs that we plan to put on um, relevant to this show. So thank you. <laughs>